Hi guys, so I wanted to come back and give you a little overview of what it was like looking for my wedding venue, my outdoor venue. Um, so I looked at two potential parks. I was going to look at three, but I was pretty much over it after <laughs> the first two. The first park that I showed you, that one um, I loved. It was exactly what I wanted. It's tucked off, it's private, it's small, so there's not a lot of foot traffic and the flowers beautifully landscaped. I loved it. The only downside to that park is due to COVID, the city is not currently taking reservations. So it would be more so on a first come first serve. I think we will be okay in terms of not having to compete with somebody else using it. But just in case, if I go with that option, I'm going to have somebody get there early to hold that area just to make sure nobody comes and, you know, just wants to sit there and chill for a minute or have some kind of outing there during the time that we're going to be there. So I'm thinking if I choose that option, the wedding would be kind of earlier in the day, like a lot earlier, because then we can pretty much avoid a lot of the foot traffic that might come um, because it is a Saturday. But like I said, in general, there's not really that much um, traffic in that area because it's a very small park and there's not much room to like walk around or sit down or things of that nature in that particular area. There is a large grass area to the left of it. But um, other than that, I don't think we'll have too many problems. The other thing that I like about that option is it's closer to where I live. So we would not have to travel that far. I am allowed to have alcohol. I am allowed to bring food. And one uh, important tip is if you are uh, thinking about bringing food or alcohol to these public parks, make sure that it's okay and that you don't need a permit for that. Because sometimes just to reserve the park, you need a permit. And then on top of that, you might need another permit for alcohol. So just make sure you double check that. Um, other than that, uh, there wasn't too many uh, negative. <laughs> no, there, there weren't any negatives besides you can't uh, reserve it. And um, that was pretty much it. I think if I choose that option, it'd be perfect as well as the pictures will be beautiful. Now, the second option, this is the one that originally I thought I would love because um, that was my first time going there as well. However, the pictures on the internet made it look just so beautiful. And don't get me wrong, it still looks beautiful, but I was underwhelmed when I went. I like the part of um, the water aspect, having the little uh, water behind the gazebo, but the gazebo was much smaller than the one at the first park. And it seemed a little plain to me, like the backdrop of the water and the waterfall added to the beauty. But overall, I was not impressed with that aspect. Also, um, there's the park and then behind the park is a lake. So with the combination of those two, uh, the water at the gazebo and then the lake behind the park, there are swarms of mosquitoes. I mean, literally swarms. And I did not like that. In the few minutes that I was at the park, it annoyed me. So I'm pretty sure it would probably annoy my guests. And it really just like, it's very noticeable. Like the bugs are very noticeable. So that was something I did not like. One thing I did like about this particular park is they do allow for reservations. So we do have a reservation for that park, but it's a particular time slot and that's all you can get. So let's say at the time that I pick it's raining, I'm out of luck. There's no leeway in terms of switching your time. So we're kind of locked in into that particular time. So that sucks. Also, um, this park is a little more public and it has a lot more foot traffic than the first one that I went to. And that was um, during the week that I went to visit it. And from what I told, the weekend is even more <laughs> 
crowded than during the week. So that's something that I had to kind of consider as well. Even though that area will be reserved for us, there's still a lot of traffic and I don't know if I like that too much. Also, now they will allow alcohol. Um, they will not allow like food to be catered and brought in over there. If we have alcohol, we have to use plastic containers. We can't have glass. And then they really don't want you to bring chairs. If you noticed in the first uh, clip of the first part, there were benches around the gazebo and then you can still put chairs uh, down if you want it. But this particular park, they don't want you to bring chairs. They only will allow chairs if the person is elderly or if they can have some kind of physical ailment and they just can't stand for that long. And so that's something that I didn't like either. The second part, although it's good that we have a reservation, they are a lot more strict. And like I said, I was not impressed with how it looked. I didn't get the butterflies in my stomach that I got when I visited the first part. And so I'm leaning more towards the first part. I thought that a body of water was gonna be like the wild factor and I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, I love it. But in the end, I like the more simple part. I like the flowers and just how that looked better than the second one. And that's um, a good thing to point to remember is don't just go off with pictures that you see on the internet. Go and take a look at it yourself because what you think you might like, you might not end up liking it. So I'm glad I was able to take a tour of both <laughs> options and I think I'm going to lean towards the first one. So yes, thank you for watching. I hope once again, I did not bore you too much. I am, you know, trying to plan this wedding in two months. I don't have too much as far as um, big things left to do. I do have to narrow down a photographer. I have a bunch in mind and I already know that they're free. Um, and they're also, a lot of them are doing deals because they have lost a lot of money due to COVID. They're not doing the events that they would normally be doing. This is normally their busy season. So they're willing to work with me. And I guess that's why I'm not really in a rush but <laughs> I will be uh, picking a photographer this week. I don't think I'll do a video about that because that's pretty plain and simple. Um, there's nothing I need to take a tour of for you to see in order for me to pick a photographer. But um, yeah, so the next video I will be showing you is me searching for a wedding band <laughs> for my fiance. I was successful with that and I'll take you along with me while I shop for that as well. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.